Iodine-131 is a radioactive isotope of the element iodine, which has 53 protons and 78 neutrons. It produces both beta particles and gamma radiation. Radiation is emitted from the atom because it contains an unstable number of neutrons and protons. Because the atom is unstable, its nucleus decays and emits radioactive particles and rays. Iodine-131 is used in the treatment of thyroid cancer and hyperthyroidism. It is given in the form of a capsule and used to destroy cancerous thyroid cells and other thyroid tissue. A patient that has thyroid cancer will be prescribed a large dosage of iodine-131 treatment following the removal of their thyroid. This ensures that any thyroid tissue in the area that was not removed will be completely destroyed by the beta and gamma radiation released by the capsule as well as any cancerous thyroid tissue that has moved to other places in the body. If necessary, after iodine-131 therapy has taken place, the patient is admitted into hospital for about 3-5 to five days to prevent other people from being exposed to the radioactivity within their thyroid gland. A patient that has an overactive thyroid, a disease known as hyperthyroidism, is given a dose of iodine-131 to destroy parts of their thyroid gland. The remaining parts of the thyroid will then function at a normal level. There are many benefits in the use of iodine-131 in the treatment of hyperthyroidism and thyroid cancer. Iodine-131 therapy has increased the rate of survival for patients with thyroid cancer that is spread to other parts of the body. It is a painless procedure because the therapy consists only of taking capsule. Not long is spent in the hospital, only 3-5 to five days after taking the capsule for safety precautions if it is necessary. There is no damage to surrounding tissue or cells, as thyroid cells are the only cells in the body that can absorb iodine-131. Although there are many benefits, there are also problems with the use of iodine-131 in thyroid treatment. The result of the treatment do not show instantly. It will take a number of weeks or months for the effects to show. There is a chance that after the treatment, a later stage of thyroid tissue can appear elsewhere in the body. This would require another dose of iodine-131 therapy. If accidentally released into the environment, iodine-131 could be fatal because it is highly radioactive. Therefore, doctors need to be very cautious in choosing when to release a patient and in disposal of the waste. From the research and evidence shown, the use of iodine-131 in thyroid cancer treatment is completely justified as the benefits exceed the risks. The treatment that has been successfully used since 1942 in a painless and effective way. Through the use of this therapy, there have been numerous lives saved. Thank you for your attention.